Hello everybody. Welcome to part two of the Sunvox and Pixelang tutorial series. In part one, we tweaked Night Radio's demo to play back our own song and got some instant gratification. But now in part two, we're going to start a long and arduous journey of creating our own visualization from scratch. I know you're already panicking, but don't worry. You don't need to know how to code for this because in every video I'm going to include a fully working code sample that you can run and execute to follow along. And in every episode we're going to build on the previous episode and by the end of the series I hope to have something like a Sunvox player that can load any Sunvox file and create a music video with images and colors of our choosing. So in the end we all win. However, we're going to need a couple ingredients before we can get started. The first is Pixelang itself. You can download it from the Pixelang homepage just by clicking on the download link. It'll download a zip file that has a similar directory structure to Sunbox. It'll have a directory of its own and then it'll have different directories for all the operating systems it supports. We're going to be using the Pixelang binaries under the Linux folders today, but it shouldn't be that hard to use Pixelang from other directories. But if you need help, let me know in the comments, and maybe we can uh, figure it out. The second ingredient you'll need are the tutorials that I've prepared and uploaded to a GitHub repository. And if you're familiar with Git, you can just clone the repository and pull from it every time a new video comes out. But if you're not familiar with uh, Git, that's okay too. Simply click on this button with a cloud shooting an arrow down at people to download all of the tutor tutorials as a zip file. If we unzip that tutorial uh, zip, we can see it has two directories. One directory, Sumfox DLL, is just the contents of the Sunvox dynamic library zip um, that I got from the Sunvox homepage and extracted. I have simply included it um, with the tutorials so that you don't have to do an additional download and have to wonder where to put this directory. Just leave it where it is in the, tor in the tutorial zip file and it will work as expected because all the tutorials will reference that DLL folder um, in that specific relative path. Um, besides this directory, there's going to be numbered directories, and each numbered directory will correspond to the tutorial and have all the code necessary to run that demo. I know we're in the second video, but this is the first code sample, so we're starting out with number one. To run the code sample, Go to the numbered directory and run Pixelang. So what are we making today? Well, what we're making today will just show up a file picker where you can pick a Sunvox file. If we press OK, it's going to play back the file, wait till it ends, and then close itself. Fascinating. Okay, pretty exciting. So let's review some of this code a bit. We're just going to highlight a couple points and call it a day because I've commented the code quite a bit. So if you really need to, you can just read the comments in that file. And I don't want to put anyone to sleep here. So here's the code. And I've created a handy diagram to sort of navigate um, the code here. Um, there's only one file in this um, video so far called boot.pixie and there are three stages in this file. The first is the setup stage where we initialize Sunvox and get it going and this is code you're going to need in every visualization. And in the second stage we play back that Sunvox file and we loop infinitely 
until it's done. And then finally, the third stage, the teardown phase, undo, undoes the steps in the setup phase to clean up our mess and leave in a polite manner. And that's pretty much it. So this first section that I've highlighted here is the setup phase. The only unique point about it is that we pop open a file dialog to select a Sunbox file. And if they don't enter a file, we brutally punish them by exiting. The next phase is the playback phase, where we just loop forever until the song ends, we immediately break out. And this is the meat of the visualization. Well, this visualization is just a black screen. But in the next tutorials, we're going to add more. Uh, specifically, we're going to show the modules, and we're going to connect them with lines, and colorize them, and make them pretty. And finally, the last lines correspond to the teardown phase where we just do the st undo the things we did in setup in reverse order to politely clean up after ourselves and then leave. And as a bonus, this code part here, the audio callback function, was used in the setup phase. We created a new buffer to contain um, our audio data and we asked Pixelang to call our function periodically and in that function, we ask Sumvox to give us the audio data, and we merely copy it to the audio channel to play it back. Anyhow, this code won't change in every visualization. In fact, you probably will never change it. So, don't worry too much if you don't understand it. So, in the next tutorial, we're going to flesh out this while loop to show our modules with pretty colors. So I'll see you then. If you have any questions, suggestions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get to them. See you later.